In today's Google Ninja hack, I want to do a continuation of the previous Google Ninja hack I did, and that is to add a autoresponder to the lead generation form that we created for Orange Therapy. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, what we need to do is add a add-on script to this particular form. All right, and how you do it is you go over to the uh, little hamburger here, you click on that and you're going to click on add-ons okay and this will bring up all the published add-ons that are available for Google Forms now there's one particular one that I'm looking for that I actually already have installed and that is this one right here it calls email notifications for Google Forms all right it is done uh, by a very talented programmer in India he creates a lot of different uh, add-on scripts associated for Google and other programs so it's really nifty to use I currently already have it installed, so there's a button that says Managed. What you're going to see is a button, I believe it's going to say, you know, Install. So what you'll do is, let's, let's say we want to install this, you should have like a free blue button like that. Just simply click on it and go through the process of, of approving the use of the script on your account. Okay, so that's that. So let's close that. Since I already have it in, where it's going to show up now is this little puzzle piece that says Add-ons. When you click on it, you'll see it right there. So what we're going to do now is click on email notification since I already have it there and you're going to create a new rule all right and that's going to bring up this box down here so you want to put in your sender's name or your client sender name I'm just going to use my name for now you know Steve Champagne um, and then typically company right is what you want to do you're going to use this as the sender's email address um, this is the great for notification. So the next thing we want to do is check this box that says notify submitter. And we need to select the email address field right there, just like that. Let me scroll down, then we'll hit continue. And then you'll be given a box where you can put in the email message. Additionally, you can integrate um, all the field values associated with the form from the response number to the uh, uh, response date. I, I use this to put a time limit on when they can redeem things in a particular situation like this and then also any of these values. Now I've already put this message together just to save time. So I'm going to kind of copy and paste it so you can see and I'll paste that in. Get rid of that. So basically it says first name, seven day free pass um, over here at OTF. Let me get rid of this. And then I'll grab our message and we'll go through that real quickly. Now what you'd want to do is put a break in between your, your sentences. Otherwise, that would just be one big mess of text. So you want to break it up. And as you can see, I have some values in here. I have a first name. And I'm also, in this case, have the response date in here too because basically I'm saying your free pass is valid seven days from this date. Please call us ASP to schedule your first class. And that's it and then we'll hit create the rule you'll get another pop-up box where he'll be asking you continuously if you want to be working in here to upgrade to his premium all you have to do is select no so that's step one step two what you need to do is uh, add notifications to the spreadsheet and you can do that what you want to do is to go up to tools hit notification rules notify me as a user submits the form and do it right away and hit save and that's it and hit done so now there's a rule in place that will notify uh, the person within you know five to ten minutes that a new value or a new row has been added to the spreadsheet and then they can come and take a look at that okay so let's test this out here's my inbox I have nothing in here okay and I'm just going to look at the public view of this spreadsheet like this and let's fill it out Steve, Champagne, and we're going to use, actually use this email address. All right, and then we'll put in a phone number, of course. That's too many kid numbers. And my goal is to gain muscle, lose weight, increase my cardio health. I'm a good lead. Hit submit. And that's it. 
form's been submitted. So what should happen here? Well, let's go over here. And what that particular add-on does is it actually CCs you a copy of exactly what was sent out, okay? So that's the first email that will come, come into the system. This is the exact same email that was sent to my local biz builder email account, okay? Additionally, within, like I said, within five, 10 minutes, um, the system will notify you via that something was added to the spreadsheet. So let me bring over my other account here so you can see. So here's my other account and let's, here's the message right there. So there's the message who was sent by and that's how easy it is to add an autoresponder to your Google Forms and your Google lead generation websites used with Google Forms. So hopefully, let me refresh this, hopefully we can get that other message that come in so you can see if that looks like. Well, that message has not come in, so I'm gonna wrap up this training, but there will be another message that comes in that says, you know, you have a lead in, in your sheets and you can click on it and you can view the sheets. So this wraps up this Google hack training. Uh, again, as always, please rate this hack. Down at the bottom, you'll see a, a place where you can um, select a star rating. And of course, if you have not signed up for uh, notifications of these hacks, you can do so on the left side of this website or at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.